Okay, this is going to be part two of our discussion about proportions, and here we're just going to solve three different word problems. So, let's just jump right into them here. So, in example one, we have a pretty typical type of problem. So, it says, suppose a 14-foot tree casts a shadow that's 30 feet long. We want to know how long would the shadow be of someone who is 6 foot tall. They always like to ask these types of problems with proportions. They'll either give you the height of the object or in the shadow, and then they'll either ask for the height of the shadow or the, the object. So, okay, we've got a tree here. Um, there's my little, my little tree here. And that tree is 14 feet tall. It makes a 30 foot long shadow, so maybe there's the good old sun up there. And there's the, the shadow, so we know that the shadow is 30 feet long. And we've got somebody, maybe it's me, that's about 6 foot tall, and we want to know how long their shadow is. So just looking, you know, at, at the beginning problem, I notice that the shadow is, you know, more than twice as long as the tree. So I know that the shadow should at least be, you know, over 12 feet. So that's just sort of one little intuitive thing I think about, just to make sure that I have things set up correctly at the end. But Okay, so here comes our proportion. So let's think about maybe height to shadow. So that's how I'm going to set it up. So the tree is 14 feet uh, to its length, its shadow length of 30. Okay, so height, we know that the height of the person is 6. We're trying to figure out the length of the shadow. Let's call that x. So I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to cross multiply. So we'll have 14 times x. We'll have 6 times 30, which will be 180. We can divide both sides by 14. And let's see here. So these are, again, both even. That's going to give us 90 divided by 7. Let's do some long division. So let's see, 7 will go into 90. Well, 7 goes into 90 once. Let's drop down our 0. 7 goes into 20 twice, so 2 times 7 is 14. If we subtract, we can put in a couple extra zeros. Let's see, 7 will go into 60 how many times? I guess uh, 8 times. So 8 times 7 is 56, it looks like. So let's see, if we drop down another 0, 7 will go into 45 times. Um, I'm going to stop right there. Um, obviously, you could keep going here if you wanted to. So I'm getting x to be roughly equal to 12 point, I'm going to round up. 12.9 uh, feet. So again, that agrees with what I said at the beginning. The shadow should definitely be more than, than twice the length of the person. Um, so the person was 6 feet tall, 12.9 feet for the length of the shadow. That seems reasonable to me. Okay, again, so just a basic proportion. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Okay, so part two will be a little more complicated. We've got a person who's 5 feet tall, they stand 18 feet from the base of a street light, and if the person's shadow is 8 feet, we want to find the height of the street light. Okay, so this one's a little, a little more complicated. Okay, so here's our little street light. Okay, so its height, that's what we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Let's call that x. So I always like making a little picture. Here's our person. So we know that that person is 18 feet away from the base. And let's see, we know that they are 5 foot tall. And then from there, their shadow is 8 feet. Okay, so there's the shadow of the person. So kind of blocking out that light. All right, so let's see here. So we're thinking about, again, you know, height. to the length of the shadow. That's how I'm going to set up my fraction. So the height of the street lamp, that's what we don't know. That's x. Well, the length of the shadow, right, the length of the shadow from um, basically of the street light, that's going to be the 18 plus 8. And 
The height of the person is 5, and the length of the person's shadow is 8, and that's now going to give us our equation to solve. So let's see, we've got x over 26 equals 5 over 8, and from there, let's see here, we've got, um, let's just cross multiply. So we'll have x multiplied by 8, that's 8x. Let's see, 5 times 26, what is that? Well, let's see, 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 6 is 30, so that's going to be 130. So let's see, that's going to give us, if we divide both sides by 8, we'll get 130 over 8. Again, both of these are even, so let's maybe reduce. So 8 divided by 2 will be 4. What's 130 divided by 2? I think that'll be 65. And again, maybe let's just do some long division. So let's see how many times 4 goes into 65. So 4 will go into 6 once. 1 times 4 is 4. If we subtract, that'll give us 2. Let's drop down the 5. 4 goes into 25 6 times. Um, 6 times 4 will be 24. Let's uh, subtract 25 minus 24 will be 1, and let's drop down the 0. 4 will go into 10 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. Again, if we subtract and drop down a 0. And last but not least, 4 goes into 25 times. So I'm getting the height of the pole to be 16.25 feet. All right, I think I've got everything set up there correctly. Um, let's see here. Last but not least, let's do our little treadmill problem. So a treadmill is five feet long, and if we want the treadmill to have a 9% grade, what would the vertical height of one end of the treadmill equal? Okay, so this may be something... Basically, right, when we talk about a grade or a gradient, it, it's telling us how steep the hill is. Okay, so if something has a 9% grade, that means you're going uphill. And again, you can just think about that as being like a slope. It basically says, okay, you're going uphill. And what a 9% grade means, it says, for example, if you go, let's say, 100 feet, it says you're going to go up 9 feet. Okay, so we've got our treadmill here that was, what was it, 5 feet long? Our treadmill's 5 feet long, but it's got to be at a little incline. And we want to know what that vertical height is. Let's call it x. Okay, so let's see. Let's do the height of the treadmill to its length. So that's x over 5. And again, uh, we'll make a proportion. So height to length, that'll be 9 over 100. That's going to give us our proportion. If we cross multiply, we'll get 100x equals uh, 5 times 9, which is going to be 45. Well, let's see. If we divide, we'll get x equals 45 divided by 100. Well, 45 divided by 100, that's 0.45. So it's going to be 0.45 feet. Should have brought my calculator. So let's see, what is that in inches? Well, let's multiply. So 12 inches multiplied by 0.45. This would be a good little arithmetic review. So 5 times 2, that's 10. Let's carry the 1. 5 times 1 plus 1 will be 6. And now 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. Um, let's add. Didn't need that there. So if we add, we'll get 0. 6 plus 8 is going to be 14. And now we've got two decimal places, so we'll need to make it two decimal places. So that tells me that the height of the treadmill is going to be 5.4 inches to give us that same 9% grade. So again, hopefully nothing too crazy here, just setting up again basic proportions, doing some cross multiplication, and going from there. So, all right, I hope these examples make some sense. You certainly may see some more complicated proportion examples, but again, hopefully these will give you a, a basic intuitive idea on how to start them.